Hey everyone, it's No Shortcut Gaming here. Uh, today we're going to go through all of the limited run collection that we have uh, as of today, which is August 22nd, 2022. We will go through uh, number one through what we have now. Towards the end of our collection, there are going to be some numbers that are missing just because they haven't released those yet and sent those out. We do have some that are the collector's edition and the standard edition. So we'll kind of go through all of those of what we have. So starting first is going to be our limited run. The very first one they came out with is going to be Tumbleweed Creek Park. So here's our standard collection. The back of that one. And then we have the limited um, or the collector's edition for that as well. Here we have the Mercenary Kings Reloaded Edition. This is going to be number one of the collection. And the Collector's Edition there. Uh, Flint Hook is number three. We only have the standard collection on that one. Now we, that other one was also the Collector's Edition for Flint Hook as well. Which one? The Mercenary one on the back oh i guess that one is so the flint hook is right up there mercenaries is there go okay. here we have pixel junk monsters 2 this is number four of the collection as well as whoop, the collector's edition yeah there. Okay. number five is saturday morning rpg yeah, this one's a fun one. And the collector's edition has the action figure inside. Let's go. Next we have Slime Sand Super Slime Edition. This is number six of the collection. And the collector's edition there. Yeah, this one's just like another Meat Boy clone. Just try to get to the end. Go. Uh, Kingdom New Lands. It's going to be number seven of the collection. Go. Number eight is Night Trap. The only thing I don't like about this one is that the collector's edition is in a clamshell, which it should be for the Sega Genesis. They weren't doing that at that time. Go. All right, so the next one is going to be Thumper Collector Edition. A rhythm game. And this is number eight. Go. Thumper was number nine. Number ten is Oxen Free. Go. Number eleven is West of Loathing Collector's Edition. Number 12 is Dust um, and Eliasian Tail. Yeah, pretty fun action or, or action platformer. Go. Number 13 of the collection is Ukulele. Now we do have two of these. One was a Best Buy. And then the, yep. And then the other one was a limited run through them. Two different box arts or cover arts on those ones. Yep. Go. Cool. Alright. And number 14 is gonna be Fury. Number 15 is Golf Story. Yeah, that one's a fun one. We got the collector's edition here with the trophy. And ball right there on top. Number 16 is Broken Age. And then number 17 and 18 is a bundle pack of Outlast, Bundle of Terror, and Outlast 2. Yeah, it was cheaper to get the double pack. Let's 
good horror game right there. One, two, three, go. Number 19 is Battle Chef Brigade Deluxe. Number 20 is Cosmic Star Heroin. An old fashioned RPG right there. Kind of excited to play that one when I can finally get to it. <laughs> Number 21, we have Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Good platformer game. Number two, we have, or 22, we have Windjammers. Good Neo Geo arcade. Number 23, we have Celeste. You'll notice as uh, we go further with our collection, we won't have as many collector's editions and more of just the standard editions. But this is a good platform, kind of just like Meat Boy again. And 24 is Dan Maku Unlimited 3. Shoot him up. Number 25, we have Iconoclasts. Yeah, I don't know much about that one. Two. And here is Another World at number 26. An old PC game right there. Two. Next, we have Luminous Remastered at number 27. Again, we have the Best Buy Edition and the Limited Run company edition and then the collector's edition right there okay. number 28 we have super meat boy okay. and number 29 we have toe jam and earl back in the groove okay. number 30 we have the escapists complete edition we have Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, number 31. We have the Limited Edition, the Best Buy Edition, and the Collector's Edition on this one. Okay. Number 32, we have Bomb Chicken. Okay. Next, we have Giga Wrecker Alt. This one was made off of Game Freak, which they do Pokemon mostly, and this is one of the games that they is not about Pokemon. So this is number thirty-three. Okay. For number thirty-four, we have Aegis Defenders. Okay. Guess we have two of that one as well. So one of them is Best Buy. Best Buy. And the other one's regular. The other one is through limited run company at 35 we have freedom planet which is a sonic the hedgehog type game yeah. we have dragon's lair trilogy at 36 okay. next we have momodora momodora uh, Reverie Under the Moonlight. We have two of these, a Best Buy and a Limited at 37. Okay. At 38, we have Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Again, we have the Limited Edition and the Best Buy Edition. And there's a third edition. It's Power Rangers complete edition which has all the dlcs and that was only out for retail so if you're looking for a power ranger one that's the one you want to get yeah. here we have transistor at number 39 number 40 is rogue legacy and when somebody says it's roguelike this is what they mean this game is roguelike it's actually rogue legacy so that's what started the roguelike genre. Okay. 
At 41, we have Double Switch 25th Anniversary Edition, The Cinematic Mystery. Another Sega CD failed project. I don't know if it's a very good game or not. Go. 42, we have Time Spinner. A uh, Castlevania clone. Uh, at 43, we have Turok. And then at 44, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. And we bought the double pack one. So it comes into this it's nice little comes. sleeve. Right Keep under them there. All nice together. Go. 45, we have River City Girls. A fun beat em up. At 46, we have Duck Game. Right, this one's fun. If you get a good party going and just... Oh, yeah. We did play this one. Yeah, we did with the kids. Yeah, just shoot them and have fun. Yeah. yeah. 47, we have Miss Explosion Man. Okay. 48, we have Blazing Chrome. A run and gun. Super fun. I beat that with your brother. At 49, we have Wander Song. Yeah. At number 50, we have Battle Princess Madeline Royal Edition. Yeah. At 51, we have Stranger Things 3 The Game. I kind of wonder if they're going to make any more. I know they got one and two on the phone, I do believe. As much as I love Stranger Things, I have not played it yet, but I really need to. Yeah. Here we have Blasph Blasphemous at 52. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Dark Souls 2D clone. Okay. All right, here we have uh, number 53 is VA-11 Hall-A Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Yeah, if you ever want to be a bartender in the future, this is your game. At uh, 54, we have 2064 Read Only Memories um, Integral. Integral. At uh, 55, we have Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. Yeah, and this one, the Limited Run one, has all the DLC on it. The game spot, or Xbox and PlayStation does not. You have to buy those separately. But yeah, we tried to play this with the kids, and it just took too long just to make the characters. So they lost interest. Yeah. At 56, we have Blossom Tales, The Sleeping King. Which is a Zelda clone, I do believe. Here we have Dark, a Dark Devotion at 57. Another Dark Souls clone 2D. It's pretty tough and pretty dark. I like it. Yeah. 58, we have Bad North. A uh, tower defense game. Tower Island defense, I guess. At 59, we have Vitamin Connection. Yeah, this one's a fun game. I like it. Yeah. At 60, we have Mighty Switch Force Collection. collection. It has all four games and the Mighty Switch Force. Yeah. At 61, we have The Missing, J.J. Macfield, and The Island of Memories. I think this one's a graphic novel. Okay. At 62, we have Forgotten Anne. Okay. Uh, here we have Real Mist, Masterpiece Edition. At 63. Okay. 64, we have Tiny Metal Ultimate. Okay. 65, we have Streets of Rage 4. And then there's also Streets of Rage on retail. But then there's another Streets of Rage Ultimate Edition, which is the one you want to get because it has all the DLCs on the cartridge and everything. Okay. Here we have Shadowgate at 66. Okay. At 67, we have Panzer Dragoon. In the Sega Saturn Collector's Edition. Yeah, it's a pretty the nice jewel, jewel case. case. 
Looks like the real old thing. Yep. Okay. Here we have Blackbird at 68. Two, three, four. Here we have a double pack, um, 69 and 70. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast and Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. And both of these were released on um, Amazon retail. So if you missed the limited run, you can get it there. Number 71, we have Brigandine, The Legend of Run Runerzia. I'm, I might have got all of those words wrong. <laughs> but there's number 71. Okay. 72, we have Shantae and the Seven Sirens. Okay. And number 73 and 74, we have Blaster Masters Zero, Blaster Master Zero, number two. And we just have the collector's edition on this one here yeah it just made it easier because it was a double pack and then we're still waiting for the third one to get shipped out to us Go. 75 we have wizard of legend Go. 76 we have jay and silent bob mall brawl Go. and 77 we have star wars episode one racer pod racer Pod racer. Um, we only have the collector's edition. We just took this one out to play it. And it does come in an N64 type of a box. Yeah. box. 78, we have Return of the Obra Din. Yeah. 79, we have Samurai Jack Battle Through Time. I have number 80 here, Grandia HD Collection. Yeah, you can also get this on Play Asia. They have a Asia one as well. Okay. At number 81, we have Doom 64. Yeah. And I think this year that they are also launching it on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox One. Okay. 82, we have Mighty Gun Volt Burst. At number 83, we have Shantae. Which is the original Game Boy Color one. And then we have the Game Boy Box Collection. Okay. And then we have Shantae Risky's Revenge Director's Cut at 84 with the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Color Collection. Okay. Number 85, we have Chasm. 86, The Mummy Demastered. Okay. 87, Corpse Killer, 25th edition, Anniversary Edition. Another Sega CD shooter. Okay. 88 is Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Okay. 89, we have Towerfall. Fun party game to have. Number 90, we have Trover Saves the Universe. And this is on Oculus Rift and PlayStation 4, 5 VR, and it's probably better there than the Switch. Okay. 91, we have Rivals of Aether. Okay. 92, we have The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance Tactics. Okay. 93, we have Fight and Rage. 94, we have Scott Pilgrim versus the World, the game, complete edition. Oh. Um, is that Super NES? Yep, Super Nintendo, collector's Box. edition, and then the collector's edition. Which there was a third one, the ultimate edition, which was too expensive. Number 95, After Party. 96 is Knights and Bikes. 97 is To the Moon. 98 is Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. 
99 is No More Heroes. 100 is No More Heroes 2, Desperate Struggle. And then No More Heroes is in retail. 101, The House in Fata Morgana. 102 is uh, Doom, the Classics Collection. One, two, and three. All on one cartridge. Okay. 103 is Star Wars Republic Commando. And this one was on retail for a double pack with Star Wars Racer, too. Okay. Next is Sam and Max Save the World. 104. 105 is Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling. So at 106, we have the Castlevania Anniversary Collection, uh, the Sega Genesis Collector's Edition. Collectors. Okay. So this is 110. This is where um, we're still waiting on some of those that are in between numbers. So 106. 7, 108, 109 just have not been released and shipped yet. So number 110 is The Takeover. 111 is Republic or Republic Anniversary Edition. 112 has not been released yet. So this is 113 and it's RWBY Grim Eclipse Definitive Edition. Which is Ruby Definitive Edition. 114 is One Step from Eden. Okay. 115 is Double Dragon and Kunio Kun Retro Brawler Bundle. Yep, and this has all the Dragon Ball Zs and all, or the Double Dragons and River City NES games and yeah, it has everything. Okay. 116 hasn't been released yet, so we're at 117 with Haven. Uh, dusk at 118. Looks like a cool shooter. 119 is Quake. Mm -hmm. 120 is Blood Rain Betrayal Fresh Bites. Mm -hmm. 121 is Eichenfell. Mm -hmm. So this one is numbered at... Um, one, sorry, 122 has not been released yet. This one is numbered at 123A as a double pack um, of the Axiom Verge and Axiom Verge 2. Which Axiom Verge was released in retail, but 2 was only limited run. So we have the double pack there, and then we have 123, which is just uh, the Axiom pack. Verge 2. Mm -hmm. And this is the last one so far at 124 Pathway. Um, so we're just waiting, of course, on those ones in between. And um, just getting the pre-orders for any of the next ones that are coming up. So if you are looking into completing your collection for, Ninten or for the um, limited run collection through Nintendo Switch, um, or just interested in what there is, that is what they have released so far and what we have gotten so far um if you have any of those and you've played them leave a comment let us know which ones are your favorite which ones are worth opening up and playing um right away especially you know for multiple players single players two players just let us know what you think about them uh any of these that you're interested in let us know which ones you think look really cool. The collector's editions are really nice. Um, of course, we started to do all collector's edition and standard. As most of you know, uh, things get expensive. So we decided to just do collector's editions on the ones that we really wanted. Or if for some reason the standard collection or the standard edition got sold out before we could actually pre-order it, then we would have to do the collector's edition um, as much as I like the collector's edition, I do like having the standard edition in the collection because it looks neat um, and organized with all of the games being the same size. That's just my game OCD wanting everything to look the same. But they're, um, the collector's editions, you know, if we were to open them up and, and look at them, they're really cool. 
So that's the complete collection of August 22 on 2022. So see you on the next go around on this is short. What? No shortcut. No shortcut gaming. And see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.